Thanks for coming along today to answer a few questions uh, about the differences between teaching general English and business English. You're welcome. No problem. Okay, let's start with the first question. Um, what do you see as the main differences between teaching general and business English? I, th I think the main difference is a se the sense of, of purpose and need and direction. Um, learners who learn general English usually don't know what they're learning it for. They'll know that sometime in their life they're likely to need English, but they're not exactly sure when or what for, in what circumstances and so on. Um, business learners, business English learners tend to have a very specific need and that might be f on a lesson by lesson basis so they might have a specific need in one lesson um, to prepare a particular presentation to give next week for example so that's a very very specific need um, but also in general they're, they'll know what line of work they're in already or what line of work they're likely to, to enter very shortly um, what kind of situations they're likely to find themselves in there the range of vocabulary they're likely to need, and so on. So I'd say that the, the biggest difference is the sense of purpose and need, which is much more highly developed for business English learners than for general English learners. Okay, let's turn now to motivation. Uh, what about the motivation uh, or the differences in motivation between business English learners and general English learners? Um, I'd say in general, business English learners tend to be more highly motivated and that again ties in with the, with the aspect of, of needs. Um, they know that they need to perform a particular function and therefore their um, intrinsic motivation to, to acquire that range of vocabulary or to be able to perform in that scenario is, is much higher. Um, and chances are there will also be some, some personal or financial buy-in. Um, the way it happens in, in many scenarios is that the employer might pay for the language lessons, for the English lessons, but that the, the learner has to, to, to do the studying in their own spare time. So because they're sacrificing their own private time, their own personal time, um, their motivation tends to be higher as well. And they, they tend to have more specific objectives in mind and they're very motivated and interested in, in achieving those, uh, rather than the general English learner who's, who's learning whose English lessons might be embedded in, in an overall course of studies, um, so it's always focused and therefore the students tend not to be quite as highly motivated. Uh, what one tip would you give a teacher wanting to move into business English teaching? I think my, my main tip would be to um, stop thinking of yourself as an English teacher. Right now you're an English teacher, um, but in order to be a business English teacher, you, you need to try to slip into the role of a business person as much as possible. And you never know, you might, you might leave the EFL uh, profession entirely. You might pick up skills um, and knowledge on the way from your students um, that cause you to drift into another form of, um, form of employment altogether. All um, it's unlikely that you're, that you're going to learn enough from your student um, to actually you know, I don't know, take on the role of the CEO of a company but it might steer you in the way of doing an MBA and, and, and then that would lead into a completely different avenue altogether. So don't think of yourself as only an English teacher, um, but acquire knowledge from your students, from the environments, take part in meetings um, if you can. Um, just ask your students if you can join in on one or more of their meetings. Um, slip into the role of a business person and that will definitely help inform you as an English teacher, as a business English teacher and it will help you grow and you never know where that might take you. That's really great advice. Thank you very much.